here again with the San Diego contingent. You know, we've got Johnny Johnston from UCSD, Ray McIntyre from USD, and Matt Bergandy, again from USD. And we've been you know, working a lot, uh, kind of getting that San Diego area ready to rock and roll a little bit. We were talking about a lot of coaches, even at the younger level, misinterpret what's going on with the body. And we are talking about, you know, a kid that's getting here as he's lunging. And I think what they're mis misinterpreting is when I'm lunging, I'm chest lunging, and I'm not in a good position to hit. That's where I think they evolved into stay back. But so they see any forward movement as being a lunge, or the understanding that it's the upper half lunge, I'm in trouble. But if I'm containing and I'm actually the kid's going into a ride to be able to make contact, most of the kids are going to hit pretty good from there. But when they get to the chest lunge, there's no coverage. Um, so I think they see this and don't understand it. And we've talked a lot yesterday about how the body makes an adjustment itself. Yeah, and that's probably the misinterpretation is a timing thing. It's a timing adjustment. That's, that's good to be able to ride and be able to ride in that position to be able to adjust off speed or something slower, anything slower. So that's just, hey, all right, let's understand timing a little bit better to be on time and then okay if you're early that ride's good you can still stay on the ball and have some adjustability there yeah yeah you see these grassroots these young amateurs even high school coaches getting on you know and i can see the negative where they're out in front coming off because of the chest right. uh, but then what's our fix for that stay back stay back let's let's get on athletic so you know there's a couple of things like i was always working underneath so if I'm really ingraining the work underneath, you know, the idea to tap everything, work underneath, that then even if I'm forward, I'm still in a great position. I mean, it's a good to great position because I'm still back and able to get some backside through. So on that thing, what we do is actually practice the right drill, which again, some people misinterpret, but we're going to what we call a trigger position where the hitter moves to a 50-50, and then we're going to trigger a swing, trying to get the backside and make the trigger. Most of them are going to be frontside triggers from that front arm. It's just the way it's going to be, but they can start getting that trigger. Then we'll do the ride drill, where I go to my 50-50, and then I set up a ride, and I just, you know, take a front toss, and I'm going to keep that knee bent, and just try to feel it, not brace. Because generally, people get the ride, the ride and if they've been front side, they come off, brace, now, no adjustability and no ability to kind of clear through. So it's again, it's like practicing the exaggeration. Let my body know I can do this. And some guys ride, and some guys can actually make that adjustment in here. But at some point, or take a change of uh oh. But if I get here, I'm good. We talked about ever see Beltre go down to a knee? He goes, he went a knee on a curveball or a change. Because he's riding. Because he's riding and he's not letting that front half get him off. That way he can stay here and stay through that line and he'd absolutely obliterate pitches that way. Yeah, and that, that ride is not taking you into rotation. That ride is actually where you're staying on the line. So you can ride and be athletic and be balanced and stay on the line instead of go ride off. Oh. That's not a ride. That's a, that would be a fly or a lunge or yeah. what people interpret as a lunge. So I'm coming out instead of riding down the line and then I'm able to stay through it. 